This is a video about the Tories winning the general election. Okay, so many people have asked me to talk about this. It's one thing to have an opinion, another to state it publicly and have a good chance of alienating part of your audience. But here we go, if there's any talent I've developed a mastery of over the years, it's saying things that lose me friends. So first things first, it might surprise you to hear this, but there are some theories the right wing have that I actually agree with. What the f- Fuck? I know it seems strange for someone with vaguely Marxist leanings to admit that, but it's true. I happen to think that the welfare state does in some cases actually hold people in an unlivable vortex of poverty and despair. But that's where we stop agreeing. See, for me, I'd be able to support them more if they weren't completely callous individualists, reaching for the objectivist manuscript every time society doesn't quite run as smoothly as it could. My solutions to the problems in the welfare state are based on actually making it efficient and productive, to make it fit for purpose, to actually help people rather than send sentence them to an existence where they're assumed to be lazy frauds, scamming the working public because they can't be bothered to help themselves. Which is categorically not true with 95% of the people that use the welfare state. And that's my real problem with the conservative ideology. We use many of the same words, take efficiency as an example. When I use it in regards to a public service, I mean that the machine works efficiently, cleanly, and with as little waste as possible. When they use it, what they actually mean is cheaply. They mean smaller budgets, they mean less people using it, irrespective of their legitimacy legitimate need. It's the same word, it just means many different things. There's a fact that I observe every time the conservative ideology comes to the forefront in our national debate. There is a massive chunk of the British populace that are extremely susceptible to the politics of fear. The extremely wealthy and the extremely poor are living separate lives with mainstream politics actually having a negligible effect on them. Now the group most affected by fear are the middling, we have a little but not a lot class. In times of economic instability, these people traditionally panic. They're mostly comfortable but not immune to the changing tides. It's these people that swing elections and it's these people that voted Tory recently. They do so because they fall for the same lie that's been told since the dawn of man's rule over man. It's essentially a bribe of sorts and it says you can be part of our elite club if you just work hard enough. It's no wonder the aspiring middle class fall for that lie. I'm being sincere when I say I agree who wouldn't want to be rewarded for hard work but it is a lie. There are people smarter than you, more ruthless and more cunning, who use a Tory government to further their own needs and business interests. They see a public service and they think, oh, there's money to be made there. They care not for its users, nor for you. They're psychopathic in their pursuit of wealth and will step on anyone to acquire what they want. They don't want to share it with you. They want to own you, piece by piece, service by service. And you, in your selfish fear, just gave them the fucking keys to the kingdom. Sometimes, when you swim with sharks, you get eaten. Later, figs.